Greetings, Fizzles family and friends. This is the daily or semi-daily pastoral message for Saturday, October 17th. I'm coming to you today with one of our Saturday series reflections on the Psalms. Today, Psalm 6. So in resuming the Saturday series, our title for today's reflection in the style of a UCC still speaking daily devotional is God is still in the healing business. And my scriptural reference from Psalm 6 is turn O Lord save my life deliver me for the sake of your steadfast love. Psalm 6 verse 4. The editorial description of Psalm 6 in the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible says it is a prayer for recovery from grave illness. Although many of the Psalms deal with concerns that seem to relate more to issues in the distant past, here the psalmist writes of a universal human need, as are often expressed in these ancient poems in which make them relatable to our issues and our concerns. Illness and disease have been and always will be with us. When confronted with disease, even a life-threatening illness, we have the choice to give up in despair or to look to God for hope and healing. When confronted with illness, it's tempting to lash out against God or to feel our troubles are a punishment from God. The psalmist believes divine wrath could be behind his or her illness, but asks God to be merciful. He asks God for healing. He asks God to be gracious unto him. The author bargains with God for his life, for, he believes, in death there is no remembrance of God. As in many of the Psalms, physical enemies are present here, perhaps some who take delight in the author's affliction. For us, disease and death themselves serve as enemy enough. But like the psalmist, we have an answer to these enemies. We have God's steadfast love, God's hesed, the promise that God's love is with us always. Those of us diagnosed with illness face real challenges. We hope and pray for healing. We rely on the prayers of others. As we trust in our doctors and in the miracles of modern medical care, we have another healing force on our side. We have soul force. Soul force through the power and love of God's Holy Spirit. Jesus came that we may have life and have it abundantly. Even with disease, we are called to continue to live the abundant lives God has blessed us with. Life that is a gift from God. God will not abandon nor forsake us, for God is our refuge and our strength. And as the psalmist sings to God, let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever sing for joy. Let us pray. O God, hear and answer the prayers for healing offered up for all who suffer from disease and illness. Keep our lives and heal us in whatever ways we need to be healed. For you, O oh God, are still in the healing business. Amen. Personally, I thank all who are praying for my health as I continue to pray for those who I know are in need of prayers for healing. I look forward next week to be more daily in my video reflections. The family safely returned to Chicago on Friday, getting in late last night. And they give their love and best wishes to the congregation as well. Ruth and Jessica will be coming back out in a couple of weeks uh, while Drew will be staying in Chicago. Uh, it may be the actual move in a couple of weeks. We don't know. It depends on how things go with the house in Chicago. I look forward to worshiping with you tomorrow. 
It looks like the weather will be dry, but a little chilly, but still warm enough to be outside, I believe. We'll plan on worshiping uh, on the parking lot instead of under the shade tree to help increase the warmth. But please dress warm enough, warmly enough. And so until I talk with you again, either in person tomorrow at worship or through our video messages, please stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong. And our God, who is, yes, still in the healing business, is continuing to bless us all. Goodbye for now.